in partnership with Lions Clubs in Oregon. We thank you for your support of this mission, uh, both today and throughout the year. Yes, we are so happy you are all here today. It's great to see all of your faces. Uh, during the next half hour, we are going to be playing some holiday and foundation trivia. And I have a little preview of what you could win. Oh, so, oh, it's a big basket. <laughs> We are super fortunate to have been sponsored by Bob's Red Mill. Bob's Red Mill has donated flour, baking soda, and baking powder. Um, we also have cookie cutters, an OLSHF mug, pen, and way in the back there, a sweatshirt. So we will have six winners in the pre-show and each of you will be getting, each of the winners will be getting the entire package. So we're hoping to help you guys get a head start on all of that holiday baking. Uh, and I wanna give a special thank you again to Bob's Red Mill and to Lion Jerry Shipman and his son, Phil, because they created and donated these beautiful handmade rolling pins. And there will be one of these in each of those baskets as well. Excellent, thanks. So we have one rule and uh, we will share that now. During today's trivia game, you'll post your answer in the chat box. So we would prefer if you all put your first name and then put your answer in the chat box. And then what you need to do is everybody, just to, to make sure everyone knows, the chat box is at the bottom of your screen. You'll see the little bubble there, the word bubble chat, and that's where you'll put your name and your answer. So that's, that's our rule. And I also want to let you know, we would love for you to support all the local businesses and sponsors who donated to the foundation to make this event possible. So you'll learn more about them as the event goes on. Thank you. So before starting the game, let's practice using the chat box. We know we have people calling from and are, are attending from the entire state of Oregon. So let's use the chat box to let us know where you're watching from. Yeah. So if everybody could go to that chat box and type in where you are watching from. I know we have, oh, there we go, Seattle. Oh, from Seattle. Nice. Red River. Junction right. City. Crooked nice. River Ranch. A good combination of places in and out of state. I love it. Caitlin's in Junction City. The family, hi. Ooh, Rockaway Beach. I'd love to be there right now. <laughs> Sutherland. I think we have attendees from all districts, districts O, R, E, and G. We love to see that. <laughs> Brookings, all right. Hello, District E folks. Trudy, Trudy from G. Hi, Trudy. I love seeing so many familiar names and faces. It's great. Feels like we're all together. It's so nice. <laughs> I think we have the chat box figured out, right? We're, we're good. No. The rules. No. Wait good. a minute. Wait, wait. wait. No chat box. Hmm. Hello, Phyllis. Yes. Nicole. Hi. Yes, Hi. Nicole. Hi. Hi. I, 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 I don't have any any indication for hitting on a chat box on my screen. Oh. Dane, at the bottom of your screen, can you see the little bubble there with the word chat? No, there's no bubble. Oh. Um, there might be an option that says more with three little dots. It could also be hidden in there. Chat, yeah. Chat, yeah, yeah 26. So okay. Peers, yeah. Hello, everybody. It's Hi. Mary Lee Turner. And Hi, Mary Lee. I am going to turn off. I will be listening, but I'm going to turn off my camera as I'm eating my lunch. Okay? No worries. We're okay. glad you're here. Thank you for uh, coming. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye-bye. For now. Where is it at? Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. Well, okay. thank you again, everybody, for letting us know where you are coming from. And I think it's time to go ahead and start the trivia. Thank you all for joining us. You've seen some awesome prizes. 
and let's start the trivia questions now. And remember to type your answer into the chat box. Uh, and so please wait to answer until after we're done with the question so that everybody has a chance to hear the full question. And we will have Nick watching the chat. She is gonna let us know who our first correct answerer is. Buddy, and some of these questions will be holiday questions and some will be foundation questions. So here we go with the first trivia question. Are you ready? What is the best-selling Christmas song of all time? Remember, oh, use that chat box. We have a winner, except for I don't know their first name. Could the alternative Doug Thompson tell <laughs> us their name? Who was the person that wrote after Silent Night? Red Doug Thompson. <laughs> well, once we figure out who Red Doug Thompson is, they are our winner are because the, the correct winner. answer was Very White Holly. Christmas. Yep. Hey. Excellent. All right. I have our first foundation based trivia question. It's a long one, so listen up. The foundation kicks off its KTP campaign each April giving I supporters the chance joined, so I'll ask him what he did so go to the website okay. where they are just punch it launch all right the foundation kicks off its KTP campaign each April giving supporters the chance to honor the promise made to Helen Keller in 1925 what does KTP stand for we have a winner Boy set up <laughs> Well okay. done, Actually, Boisetta. Boisetta. That's right. Boisetta. Keep the promise. Bye. That's true. <laughs> okay. Bye. Yep. And then I think up next was Steve Suter. So good job, Steve, as well. Keep the promise. You almost got it, Steve. <laughs> okay. Question number three. Uh, what was like Frosty the uh -huh. Snowman's nose made mm -hmm. out of? And I'll repeat it. What was... Ooh. Oh, seeing a lot of answers. Not the right one yet. Oh, tick tock. Oh, I oh, think I Diane, see it. Diane Bash, you are our winner, our third winner. Congrats. Oh, I think it was actually Ella. I think Ella answered button first. Oh, you're right. I'm so sorry, Ella. <laughs> I, I see you there. Ella, congrats. Sorry, Diane. congratulations to Ella. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I have another acronym. So again, listen closely. What does the acronym LEAP stand for? L-E-A-P, LEAP. And as a hint, we have a LEAP lab at the foundation. L-E-A-P. Karis Vance, you are a winner. Congratulations, it is the Lions Eyeglass Assistance Program. Congratulations, the Carif. Okay, here we go with question number five. This is a toughie. How many sides do snowflakes have? How many sides do snowflakes have? Uh, oh, uh, winner, ding, 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 Sandy Wolverton. Nice. Congrats, <laughs> Six Sandy. sides on a snowflake. No two snowflakes are alike, but they all have six sides. Okay, our final question is going to be a tricky one. So again, you need to listen closely. Can you name one of the two lions that are generally regarded as having founded OLSHF in 19? 59. So we're looking for one of the two names. Ooh. Ooh. We have a winner. Shall we see what the rest of the answers are before I'd say? Who, yeah. Oh, very popular. Very popular. John. So Sandy oh, Overton no, it takes a minute or two. has guessed as For well, some... but the very first person is Sharon Rollins. So Sharon, you're our winner. 
we know Excellent. our history, don't we? <laughs> we love that. So the uh, the two answers we would have accepted <laughs> were Norm Ross, who was a Portland downtown lion, or John Anderson, who was a Park Rose lion. All right. I am so glad that we have so many people and so many answers because that means that you guys are all really excited to be part of our holiday special. And everybody who is here, who has registered to be here, is going to be eligible for even more prizes coming up. And I wanted to share a couple of those prizes with you before we get into the actual show itself. So one of the prizes that we are going to be offering today is the District E gift card truck. District E came together, Alliance from District E, to sponsor an incredible prize basket worth more than $400. It's awesome. They came together. We've got gift cards from all over, small businesses, large businesses. I know that that is one of the top prizes, I think, in my mind. We also have what we are calling our Portland Night Out or a mini vacation package, which includes one night at the Inn at Northrop, as well as streetcar tickets and a meal for two at the Matador Mexican restaurant. And if that wasn't enough, you will also be receiving a free round of golf at Glendevere Golf Course, so you can make it an entire weekend excursion. We also have a stay and play uh, package from the Chinook Winds Casino Resort, uh, which includes a one night stay for two, a round of golf, and a meal at the Aces Sports Bar and Grill. And if you are looking for, I don't know, a date night or an anniversary or just a fun getaway for yourself, we have a package from A. Lene. Um, a. Linnae has given us a $250 gift certificate to enjoy an excellent meal at their Rose and Thorn restaurant, as well as two swag bags. And I believe they've also given us $100 to play. So you could take that $100 and you could make it much more than that if you play right. And we also have a lot of really powerful stories coming up. Uh, and Nick, would you like to share some little snippets and previews of what they can expect? Yes, thanks. So we have a few exciting videos that we are going to unveil. And one I will share is um, we're going to meet um, a young man, Nate, Nate, and he's actually up here in the Seattle area. And he was a former student of Dr. J.P. Lowry. And Dr. Lowry is a Forest Grove Lion. He is also our clinical director of the Lions Low Vision Clinic. He travels all over the state to help children with um, low vision exams. So he does a lot of educational and medical work with them to help them um, learn in the classroom, to help them socialize all kinds of um, ways that, that he helps enrich their lives. We also distribute um, low vision devices. So in that, in that lens, so to speak, uh, Dr. Lowry and Nate have reunited and that was a recent a recent event we were lucky enough to witness and we will learn more about Nate's journey as a young man in southern Oregon as a young boy I'm sorry in southern Oregon and how the Lions Low Vision Clinic and Dr. Lowry especially has helped him on, on a path um, to success and you know it's a very heartfelt and very difficult story so we're going to share that with you and um, you'll learn more about him so that's one story and then i'll just share one more since we have have a little time um, our other really fun video that we're going to unveil today is catching up with paige so paige uh, we met her as a young girl at a school vision screening event and paige was struggling um, just a lot of issues and unfortunately wasn't really identified and our school screening identified something that uh, she was able to get some further care for and uh, kind of turn her life around and we followed her over the years and now she's a high school senior and she's talented and wise and creative and beautiful and we're just really lucky to get to know her and her family and we're just going to share with you sort of how vision and visual health and everything that the school vision screening supplied for her and her family has turned her into um, a young woman with a bright very talented future we're going to learn more about her so is there anything that um phyllis you'd like to add about programs that are near and dear to your heart at the foundation 
Oh, well, so many programs are near and dear to, to my heart. You know, I'm just so thrilled here in Central Oregon. We're back in the school's vision screening and nothing uh, really makes my day more than to get back out in the school. So that's what I'm pretty happy about these days. Do you want to tell the audience about some of the um, school screening events you've been at and what your experience was like with the new methodology? Uh, well, I think the new methodology for somebody that's operating the machine, it's not the same, but I know for John, um, who's our coordinator, it's making things a little bit easier and it's requiring less people, so. Or fewer people to go in. So I see Lucinda there, uh, speaking of Crooked River Ranch, hi. So I was thinking, um, we have a few backup trivia questions. Do we wanna just play? Um, yeah, we can, we can ask a couple more questions. Um, and there is actually one more thing that I do wanna bring up and mention because I did see them, I think at one point. Yep, I do see Terry and Lulu. I wanted to also say, the grand finale of our show tonight is, of course, our grand raffle drawing for that incredible vacation package. So we have that 10 day stay plus round trip airfare on Alaska Airlines. Um, and I'm curious how many of our viewers right now actually um, bought tickets. So if you bought a ticket, why don't you tell us in the chat where you are planning to go if you win that big raffle tonight? I know my parents are watching and they have already chosen Maui. They have said that if they win, Maui is the destination for them. So let us know, where are you thinking? The nice thing about this package, which was so generously donated to us by Terry and Lulu Bowman, is that there are so many locations. Um, on our promotion, we have listed um, Maui, Kauai, Mazatlan, Mexico, Orlando, it'd be a great package if you wanted to go take a Disney trip. Um, but there are tons of locations that we didn't even list. There are even some stateside. If you wanted to visit a, a relative, I think they even have places like Utah, spots in Oregon. Um, so there's lots of really cool places. Let's see, I'm seeing Mexico, Kauai, ooh, Hanalei Bay, Kauai. I think Kauai would be my choice. I absolutely love Kauai. See what else so have. Jessica, um, with the winners of the basket, uh, you need to know how to get the basket to yes, folks. Absolutely. Do you want to give some instruction on that before we go to these last two trivia oh. questions? Yes, yeah. and then the person who suggested or who answered White Christmas right after Noel said Silent Night, I need to know who you are. So yes, then we can get you your basket if you identify yourself. And then Jess, take it away. Yeah, so uh, Nick has recorded our winners, um, and part of our basket is, of course, this beautiful um, branded sweatshirt. So we'd love to get you your size. So if um, Nick, would you like them to reach out to you by email, or are you going to reach out to them? Um, I have their names, except for I can reach out to them. I just need the white Christmas person. Otherwise, it goes to the next person on the list. I don't want them to miss out, but okay. perfect. I don't so know how to find you. <laughs> we will reach out to you and we will find out what size. Um, if you are local to the Portland area, we'll figure out how to get that to you. And if you are somewhere outside of the Portland area, we will ship it to you as quickly as we can. Yes, and we'll just um, ask for a little bit of your patience um, in our post event wrap ups to get all the prizes, um, these baking bundles and our prizes out to you. So I will be in touch with all of you, as just said, and it looks like maybe was Henry Miller, Henry from Springfield. Are you out there? You might be our first winner there from the, the baking bundle. I will. Hello. Okay. Looks like it's yes, Carol Sesso. Okay, Carol right. Sueso, you're our winner of the first basket. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. All right, so All righty, have... let's Go do ahead. a couple, couple more uh, questions, and I am sure that we can talk Doug into finding uh, a golf shirt or a 
golf balls or a mug or something to give to the winners of these next two questions. Absolutely. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Everybody ready to go to that chat box? In what country did eggnog originate? In what country did eggnog originate? Wow. We have a winner. We do. It looks like, so the answer is either in Britain or the United Kingdom or England. So it looks like Noel was our first answer. So congratulations, Noel. Um, and I just want to say quickly, I don't know if anybody knows this, but Noel is a wonderful uh, Christmas baby. I just love that about Noel. So I wanted to share that. <laughs> All right, and our next, oh, this is a good one. Our next holiday trivia question is, it's a three-part question. So get your type and fingers ready. Three of Santa's reindeer's names start with the letter D. What are their names? Three of Santa's reindeer's names begin with the letter D. Oh my gosh. David Bartley right away knew the answer. Donner, Dasher, and Dancer. <laughs> nice job. Okay. Yeah, that was a quick answer. Well done. So we've got a few more minutes. I can get a few more trivia questions going. Hi, this is Mary Lee, and I can't figure out how to um, access to, to write on the message board. So I, I have answered several of them, but nobody heard it. But okay. I will say that when, when I win the grand prize, I'm going to Italy. That sounds like nice. a lot of fun. <laughs> I'd love to visit Italy. Let's see. All right. So our next question is oh in the song winter wonderland what do they call the snowman in the song winter wonderland what do they call the snowman oh my gosh once again david must be a christmas expert we will call him Parson Brown. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right, our next uh, question will be, What is the name of the last ghost that visits Scrooge in A Christmas Carol? So what is the name of the last ghost that visits Scrooge? Oh, it is Christmas Future. Christmas Future, so it looks like Helen Hunt. Congratulations. I think we have time for a couple more at five minutes till our big show. There will be a countdown. We have a little bit more time. Tell okay. hi to Ed Gear. I see Ed Gear. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Good to see you. All right. Our next question is in uh, the night before Christmas, where did there arise such a clatter? Where did there arise such a clatter? Oh, I see a lot of roof. It's not the rooftop. Oh, I think it's David again. It is out on the lawn. There arose such a clatter. <laughs> Diane had it as well. Nice job. Okay, ooh, here is another good question. This one is some true trivia. It's gonna take some thinking. What 
was the first company that used Santa Claus in advertising. What was the first company that used Santa Claus in advertising? <laughs> oh, and it was Kareth right away, and then Sharon Coca-Cola. And Mary Lee, looks like Mary I'm Lee is- I'm saying Macy's. Ooh, I bet Macy's was up there, but Coca-Cola was the first. Uh. All right. Oh, I see we have got our countdown clock going. So and again, can we just can I just say again, I wanted to thank everybody um, who bought raffle tickets, our sponsors, our in-kind donors. Um, again, a shout out to Terry and Lulu Bowman over the years. They've donated their timeshare. We've been able to raise really nice funds for sight and hearing programs for our operations, um, they deserve an extra um, shout out. So thank you, Terry and Lulu. Um, we're all really excited to find out who's gonna win the raffle today at the close of our event. And then of course, Jess outlined all those other excellent prizes y'all can win. And um, those were all made possible by our generous uh, local business friends and other in-kind donors around the state. And of course, I also wanna shout out to the District E Lions, as Jess mentioned, um, Carol Sueso led the, led the charge on that and they put together this awesome gift card truck. And so we wanna thank all the clubs and lions in Southern Oregon that made that possible. It was really, um, really nice, nice work. We really appreciate that that effort. Phyllis, anything last? I, I was just strumming words? through to see who all was here, and and I'm so appreciative that so many people have joined today, and I th I think that's that's wonderful. So thank you all, and we're getting pretty close. Do we yeah, have less than one, three one more one more trivia question. Yeah, I can I'm pull just up like, another one. Uh, making this up on the spot this is my favorite well i'm not making it up favorite christmas song and it's a duet the little drummer boy with bing crosby and who oh my goodness somebody answered it right off the bat mike malter <laughs> I nice love job, Mike. <laughs> Mike, I wish Mike. we could play it right now. Yeah. Oh, and actually, that's a great point, Phyllis. We do have some really excellent holiday entertainment coming up in the next hour as well. We have um, musical guests Naomi LaViolet and Aaron Meyer, who will be who have provided um, performances for us. Wonderful, and we're going to get to hear them in. Very soon, we're down below two minutes now, so. Yeah. Are you excited to see your, your hosts of the holiday special? Do we know who the hosts are? Who knows who the hosts are? Chat box, answers. <laughs> Santa gonna be there, Scrooge. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> Mike. <laughs> yes, yeah, Santa and the Grinch. Yeah. Does anybody know how to get privately off the chat? Get privately off the chat? Yes. My, it says main event screen, but then it says privately. Oh, I'm not quite sure. Um, Brenda is our Zoom wizard. She might have an idea. In this case, I do not. Um, I would think at this point, as long as you're able to see the main component of it, um, in the chat box, you can choose in the two bar part to talk to everyone in meeting. I don't know if that's, because I don't have anything that would be private. Yeah. The chat does allow you to send direct messages to people. 36 seconds and counting. <laughs> Um, and just once again, we do want to thank everybody who tuned in early to watch the pre-show here with us. Um, Phyllis and Nick and myself have been really excited about getting to see all of you and kind of getting ready for the show. So uh, with that being said, we're almost <laughs> to the 10 seconds and we hope you all enjoy the 2021 holiday special.
Here we go. <laughs> Thank you all. On behalf of all of the board and all of the staff at the Oregon Lions Sight and Hearing Foundation, welcome to our second annual holiday special. I'm your co-host, Doug. And I'm Brad. Ho, ho, ho. Be ready for a fast-paced 60 minutes with something for everyone. Yeah, for those of you that are inspired by our sight and hearing stories, we have some of those for you today. For those of you who like great, awesome prizes, we have lots of those today. And you know, Brad, we're really looking forward to thanking and recognizing uh, our donors that make our sight and hearing programs uh, possible. And many of you are in our audience today, so thank you for being here. And we're also going to take a tour of Oregon via, via our school vision screening program. All the 2020 vision screeners like me. Yeah, we want to take a moment, of course, to thank all of the sponsors that made our holiday special possible. They are rolling across the bottom of your screen, and we're going to introduce you to some of these sponsors here shortly once we start giving away some of the prizes. I want to take a moment though to um, say great job to Jessica and Nicole and Phyllis. What a fun pre-show. Uh, we appreciate all of you that joined the holiday special a little bit early. What uh, a great time. Maybe to, yeah, maybe to, uh, you know, win a little bit of swag. And by the way, Mike Malter, that whole uh, Grinch comment, that might come back. We, we'll, we're going to remember that one, by the way. Okay, so Brad, let's say, let's get this show started. Let's, let's give away our first prize. What, tell everybody, what is our first prize? Doug, I'm get, glad you asked. Our friends from a a Casino and Resort have given us a package worth $350 that includes a $250 dinner for two at the Rose and Thorn Restaurant, two a a swag bags, and $100 to play with at the ALNA Casino. Wow, that sounds like a great package. ALNA, I've been working all day on saying that You've right. You've been working all it? week on that, actually. That's true, that's true. Uh, it's hard to teach an old Doug new tricks. Okay, so <laughs> ALNA package, let's spin that wheel and see who the lucky winner is. The winner of our package is Janet. Was that stock? I'm sorry. Stock brand? Stock brand? That came so fast for us, and it's hard to see through the confetti. Can, can you show the name again? Janet, congratulations. You are the lucky winner of our a a package, and we will reach out to you to make sure that uh, you get the whole package and can enjoy uh, your experience at a a So congratulations to Janet. Excellent. Okay, so... You know, as many of you know, the Oregon Lions Sight and Hearing Foundation, uh, our flagship program is going into Oregon schools and helping identify students that maybe could be seen and learning uh, better to their potential. This year, we project we'll screen somewhere between 150,000 and 200,000 students, depending upon what conditions uh, allow for. And as some of you out there know, I work on the front lines every day. I just came back from a week in Hood River County uh, it was great to see all the lions there having so much fun screening all the school kids throughout Hood River Valley. Uh, and I can tell you that the children that are being referred, not just in Hood River County, but all over Oregon for comprehensive exams will benefit not just today, but into the future, and it will lead them down the road to learning and a better future for everyone. Yeah, in fact, our first story that we're going to share with you uh, is of a little girl that Brad, that you screened many years ago. And so with that, let's take a look. I have a vision in my head and I want to be, like, being able to see it when I'm drawing it on paper means I can compare it to that. I do art all the time. It's actually rare to see me not sitting in my bed with my laptop and my digital art tablet or even just a, a pencil and paper. I'm a very visual thinker, which also plays into being able to see. Being able to see it when I'm drawing it on paper means I can compare it to that like idea that I had in my head. I was really 
confused about what was going on because when I was in first grade, it, it was really easy for me to see and everything was fine. But around second grade, it got really hard for me to read the, the board and I was really confused and scared about why I couldn't see things and I was too nervous to tell anybody. The effort that I had to put into actually seeing, I didn't know how to describe it and I didn't know if it was actually an issue and I didn't like tell my teacher that I couldn't see. Once we knew what was happening, then it was like a big light bulb got turned on um, and it explained so much. No wonder you pop out of your seat when you're seven years old. You're, you're focusing all of your human on that board that's 20 feet away. You know, you're not paying attention to where your, your feet are. Um, now, here's this tremendous performer and artist After I got my glasses, I was number one who really wanted to wear glasses. I had a hard time not touching my face and not fidgeting with things. And the reason I didn't want glasses is because I didn't want to fidget with them and then break them. But once I could see and I had glasses in class, it made a big difference. Because, and I think that's what helped me when I started middle school, because I transferred schools. Um, but it made it a lot easier to learn in a new environment. It opened a whole different world for her. Um, and, you know, science and cooking and inventing things and working on the car and drawing, drawing, drawing. <laughs> and theater. And... You know, all these things that she loved at home, suddenly she was fearless going after it at school, at community activities. I think I would be struggling a lot more in school and would probably not be only having four classes um, this year. I just wouldn't be where I am with the same passions. My husband and I are beyond grateful to the Lions Club and to the camera and the school district nurse who got that camera to our district. It's just amazing that this is even available to people and it's, I'm eternally grateful for it and I'm sure that all the families who have gotten the help are also unbelievably grateful for the help that the Lions have given them. We, we want to say thank you to all of our year in. I have a vision. It's not just Lions that support our programs, it's others. Here's a quote that really touches on what we're talking about. I always had issues with vision and needed eyeglasses when I was young. My parents could barely afford to get me eyeglasses, so I donate to the foundation to help others who are struggling. Thank you so much to Carolyn from West Lynn. It's those type of things that help support all of these programs, and we encourage you to make a donation when you can. And, and you know, Brad, we've already got our first donations rolling in. That's great. Yeah, we have a gift from uh, Ann Beddingfield. Ann, thank you so much, Ann. Ann is our coordinator from the Hillsborough School District that I get to work with and Bert gets to work with all through the fall. You know, at the outset, Brad mentioned how we're going to take a virtual tour around Oregon and we're going to check in with many of our school vision screening staff members, such as Brad. And Brad, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but you are projected to screen over 45,000 students this year. So look at the impact that <laughs> our vision screening made on Paige. Brad is going to be screening over 45,000 students this year. And so I'll be doing that with the help of the Lions and the parents and the high school students all over Northwestern Oregon. Yeah, so the impact is just huge. Now, back to the fun. Um, we are going to spin the wheel many times today, but we're also going to have one package that's going to go to the highest bidder. And that package is a golf extravaganza at Black Butte Ranch. Brad, you want to tell, tell us what it is that we could win? Doug, the winner, will, uh, the winner of this auction will receive a $1,000 plus package of golf at Black Butte Ranch, our Central Oregon package, two carts included, lunch included, any Sunday through Thursday, and a flight with Lion Jim Origlioso to get there and to come home. Yeah, so thank you board member and Eugene Downtown Lion Jim Origlioso for donating a flight. 
which again goes along with the golf that Brad just mentioned. The bidding is going to, we're going to start the bidding at $250 for this package that is worth well over $1,000. So again, we're not going to spin the wheel for this. Use the chat box. Um, contact us any way that you possibly can to bid on it. We'll, we'll start it at $250. But now, Brad, we're going to spin that darn wheel. And why don't you tell us what our next prize is that we're giving away? Well, Doug, our next prize for wheel spin number two is from the Chinook Winds Resort Stay and Play Package, a value of over $390 that includes a one-night stay for two, a round of golf, 18 holes, and a $40 gift certificate for breakfast at Aces Sports Bar and Grill at our friends, the Chinook Winds Casino. Wow, nice package. Okay, hey, let that wheel spin. Arlene Congra Martinez. Congratulations to Arlene. Oh, and Arlene, congratulations. Arlene Martinez is our lucky winner. And uh, don't we have confetti, too, that was supposed to be falling out of the sky? Oh, we don't. Oh, okay. Congratulations it's, to it's Arlene Martinez. Already. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're so happy for Arlene winning our Chinook, Chinook Wins Prize. Now we're going to go back on this tour around Oregon. As part of this virtual tour, again, you're going to be introduced to a number of our school vision screening staff that help us be recognized as having the premier school-based vision screening program in the world. Based in his home in beautiful Brookings Harbor, Lion Tim Young works in the schools throughout Southern Oregon and up the Southern Oregon coast. This year, we project that Tim will coordinate events that will screen over 10,000 students. Take it away, Tim. My favorite present that I got when I was a child was actually my second cat. Uh, her name was Tingling because she wore a collar during Christmas when I first saw her and her little collar had bells on and uh, she was quite cute and she lived uh, 20 years and uh, uh, she took over the house in the backyard and she, she owned the place. I'm Tim Young. Um, I, uh, I screen around the uh, Grants Pass area, Brookings, and down in, and into the Medford area, and also at Rogue River. You know, it's very important that we find children that, that ha have difficulties either reading close, close up or, or they can't see the board. But the vast majority, you're either going to be farsighted or nearsighted or have some type of astigmatism. And if we could find that, it's a, it's a really easy uh, uh, thing to do to, to um, get them to the doctor and, uh, and then get them glasses to correct that. I like going to the schools. I like, you know, you know, meeting the children and uh, getting to know some of them. And it's a joy to go back and seeing how they're progressing, and uh, and and also you know, reinitiating you know friendships that I that I have had at the schools. Clearly, we remember the best times we ever had is when the, uh, there was four of us, four children, and we we'd get up in the morning and the fireplace would be roaring and uh, the stockings above it would be would be filled with with toys. And we always had chocolate cookies and, and hot chocolate. And uh, it was it was just the best time in the morning. It's the best feeling on earth to go back to the same school and see a, a student that you know had a vision problem. And this year, you know, you go back and they have glasses and they, they kind of wink and, they, and they're quite happy that they have glasses uh, this year. So that makes you really feel good. A great thanks to all the people that, that have supported the, the Oregon Sight and Hearing Foundation and the local Lions Club. We really appreciate the support and uh, it really makes us more motivated to help out every year. And please have a happy and safe holiday this season and have fun. Again, we have such a dynamic team of school vision screening staff. Uh, not featured in, in a video today, but right up the highway from Tim, we also have Lion Donna Penny of the Coos Bay Lions, who is scheduled to screen probably over 7,000 students this year, in addition to Tim Young's over 10,000 students. And now, a word from our sponsors. <laughs> Hey, welcome back! Katie, your favorite customer is here! <gasps> it's so nice to see you again! You're gonna love your new frames! It's so smart of you to take advantage of your end of year benefits. These will be great for your big trip coming up. Hey, Paul, she gotta get going! Yeah, we gotta go up for those presents! Fly safe! Enjoy your new glasses! And remember, we've been extra good this year! Ho, ho, ho. Both of you? I promise.
Ho, ho, ho. Now where'd we park that sleigh? Never should have let the new guy drive. Ho, ho, ho. Hey, wait a minute. That, that Santa looked kind of familiar from that commercial. I, I wonder who that guy was. Yeah, I just can't oh, kind oh, of spot oh. it. Hey, our I Promise Optical Shop, as many of you know, is, is actually a for-profit shop that generates support for our Lions Eyeglass Assistance Program, of which you can see our great LEAP staff here wishing everybody happy holidays. So, Brad, when somebody texts KEEP to 71777 or makes a gift in any way, this is one of the ways they're helping Oregonians. Absolutely. It helps all of our programs. Text KEEP to 71777. Call in to 866-409-2259 all the way until Sunday evening or go to www.olshf.org and click on that big orange donate button anytime. Now, as you can see, Brett and I are both dressed for a night on the town, right? I mean, we're in Northwest Portland right now, and this is kind of how some people dress, at least this time of year. So you can have your own night on the town if you're the winner of our next prize. Brad, tell them what they could win. Doug, this is the Portland Night Out package, a $350 value. The Matador, four-star restaurant, gift, uh, gifts us dinner for two, and the Northrop Station Inn, a five-star hotel right in the neighborhood, gives one night stay plus parking pass, continental breakfast, and streetcar tickets, and we're throwing in from our friends at Glendevere a round of golf at Glendevere Golf Course. Man, nice package. Playing golf at Glendevere, one of the most beautiful courses in the area, and everything else that you named there. Awesome. Well, let's find out who our lucky winner is. Oh, there's the confetti. Yeah. Oh. I messed up. That's okay. Let's spin. Spin that wheel. Let's spin the wheel. It's more confetti for us to clean up. And our winner is Brenda, Brenda Powell. Powell. Congratulations, Congratulations, Brenda Powell. Congratulations, Brenda. Awesome. Get the. Yeah, I know. we got confetti all over the for, place. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Okay. As we mentioned earlier, all of our programs, um, LEAP, school vision screening, our roar hearing assistance, they're all made possible due to your support. And we want to take a moment to thank those that have joined our prestigious recurring individual donor entourage that make monthly recurring gifts. It's so easy. Um, as you know, Laura and I joined the Pride as soon, it was, as, soon as it was available. Um, we are comfortable, but we're not rich. We can't make those great big gifts that we would really like to make. So instead, we make a small gift that we don't even know is happening on a monthly basis, on a monthly recurring and sustaining basis. And then at the end of the year, we see we have made that big, nice gift that we'd like to write the single check for. And one of the really great things about the Pride program and those donations, those are gifts that we can count on to budget for and keep our programs working. Yeah, so we just love the fact that these names are scrolling by. These are people that, again, make these monthly co this commitment that makes a monthly recurring gift. Shireen Nolan's name just went by. Shireen, thank you for doubling today, for doubling your Pride gift amount. That's great news, Lion Shireen. Thank you so much. Thank you also to Anale Rosen, who just made a donation. Uh, Caitlin Anderson, thank you so much, Caitlin, for your donation. Jim Aurelioso just made a donation. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> so, and again, thank you to all the names that you see scrolling across. These are people that have supported us during our year-end holiday campaign, and we are so grateful for you and your support of our sight and hearing programs. Okay. Brad, time for some full transparency here. Yeah, we got to tell the truth. Yeah, the fact is, I mean, we're both devoted, devoted Oregon State Beavers. I mean, we can't get enough orange and black. Uh, we just love those colors. But we do have to make an exception around the holidays for green. And there's nowhere more green in Oregon than Lane County with the University of Oregon Ducks and the beauty that takes place in Lane County. We're going to take you there now for a visit with our school vision screening staff member, Lion Diane Resch from the Springfield Lions Club. Growing up in North Dakota means snow, and I love snow, and I miss snow at Christmas. But I'm so happy we live in Oregon where we have snow in the mountains and occasionally on the valley floor. White Christmas was my favorite song, along with Away in the Manger. These were always sung at our school and church programs when I was a child and every child participated and received an orange and an apple at the end of the production. But I'm really a number one Rudolph fan. It's my favorite movie during the holidays. Robert May wrote the book in 1939, 
And so it was very popular by the time I was old enough to appreciate it. I'm Diane Rush, and I've been a Lion of Springfield Lions um, for over 25 years. I was first a Lion Courier, and that's when I became a Lion by heart and not just by words. I work in the Springfield, Eugene, Oregon area uh, and the outlying districts, uh, Junction City, Fern Ridge, etc. These kids need their eyes examined early and catch all of the problems, and they will be better adults in our society because of it. I believe in lionism. My job will be to coordinate with the school nurse as well as the school volunteers and the various Lions Club in that area to get everybody on board to help get these kids screened. So I'm looking forward to being in your district soon. The highlight of vision screening for me is finding little eyes that need help. If we catch these problems when they're young, they can succeed in life. And you are a part of that success. If they can't read, they can't succeed. The other rewarding benefit is working with all of the Lions across our communities. And I want to give a special thank you to all of you this year especially. Many of you from opposite clubs are helping out and crossing territories. And we really appreciate that. We appreciate you. So I thank you for supporting uh, Oregon Lions Sight and Hearing Foundation, for supporting your local Lions clubs, but most of all, for supporting the kiddos in your community. You are appreciated very much. Happy holidays. <clears throat> Happy holidays to you, Diane. And as Diane, or as we mentioned in the video there, Diane uh, is projected uh, to screen, oh gosh, I don't have that anymore. I think over 15,000 students and a couple of other staff members I want to mention that we don't have a video for today. Uh, Mr. Burt Diamond here in the Portland area uh, is actually scheduled to screen over 45,000 students. And uh, Caitlin Anderson, who made a donation a few minutes ago, is scheduled to screen over 12,000 students. So it's just amazing the impact that our individual staff members have. Truly it is. These Lions are heroes in their communities and in your communities for what they do for your kids. Cool. Okay. Uh, next up, <clears throat> our first musical entertainment. And um, it's not me. <laughs> her, her, her style has been described as a cross between Nora Jones and Sarah McLaughlin with a little bit of Cheryl Crow mixed in. So ladies and gentlemen, sit back and enjoy uh, the musical performance from Oregon's own Naomi LaViolette. Wow. 
walking through the snow. I can't see the path before me, but hope still burns. A velvet sky arching high, or my starlight. Special thanks uh, for donations to, thank you, Sue Malter, uh, for your donation that you just made. Henry Miller, thank you so much. In addition Good to job, being Henry. a photographer extraordinaire, you're also a very generous supporter of the Oregon Lion Sat and Hearing Foundation. Thank you for that. Alex Santos, thank you for your gift. I think Alex Santos just made a gift the other day, so thank you for <laughs> that, Alex. Uh, Brad, well, this is great. This is awesome. But you still have an opportunity to text KEEP to 71777 or to call us at 866-409-2258, or click on that big orange donate button at olshf.org. I'm not positive, Brad, but I have a feeling you've got a few lost golf balls around Aspen Lakes, don't you? Um, I actually go out there in the evenings and collect them. I have five-gallon buckets full. Well, perfect. <laughs> um, our next lucky winner is going to have an opportunity to experience Aspen Lakes. You want to tell them what they'll win? Absolutely, Doug. You'll win a big smile from me on the deck of my mother-in-law's house at uh, hole number nine. Aspen Lakes, a $360 value, a round of golf for four, plus the Wanderlust, Wanderlust Tour of Central Oregon, a one-day tour. Awesome. Let's roll. <laughs> let's, let's spin that wheel. So we got a bit of a confetti glitch going. We, we have pre-confetti <laughs> in anticipation of the winner of our Aspen Lakes package going to Annette Rodriguez. Annette Rodriguez. Congratulations. And there's a little bit more confetti. Uh, excellent. Congratulations. Okay. So, uh, Brad, speaking of Aspen Lakes and Central Oregon, um, our next stop on our Oregon tour of school vision screening staff is to Mr. John Aubrey, who is a Crooked River Ranch Lion. Absolutely. John's doing a great job. He's one of the newest members of our team, went through training and is doing spectacularly, and he is projected to screen over 10,000 students in Central Oregon this year. Let's meet John now. I grew up in Central California in the San Joaquin Valley, and during the holiday season, the Thule fog rolled in and you couldn't see your hand in front of your face. And at Christmas time, we always went out to my dad's mom and dad's, my grandma and grandpa's house for Christmas. One of my oldest memories is driving in the fog with all having had Christmas with all my cousins and aunts and uncles. And it was such a great time. But the fog in the Central Valley always comes in around Christmas time. Hi, my name's John Aubrey and I'm a Lion from Central Oregon. I live in Crooked River Ranch up in the high desert and I coordinate screenings all over the central part of Oregon from the Bend Lapine area to the Sherman County all the way out to Burns and Christmas Valley and we see all the little schools and all the big schools and with the volunteers of Lions all over Oregon we're going to screen close to 200,000 kids this year. We're looking forward to getting it back into all of those school districts because the kids need us. We, we know that vision screening helps kids learn and that's so important. And we're going to see, I predict, we're going to see down the road that the graduation rates in Oregon rise 
as this program continues, we're going to see the kids in Oregon excel. I'm John Aubrey, and I'm a Central Oregon Vision Screening Coordinator, and today we're at Lynch Elementary in Redmond. You can probably hear the chaos going on behind me. We've already screened over 400 kids today. Helping these kids be able to see helps them read, helps their education in every way, because we know the studies show that without the ability to read, they are going to fall way behind in school. We're catching, since we, we haven't been able to screen like we have in the past, this year we're catching up for two years that we didn't actually get to see kids. We're having a higher than normal amount of referrals. It's really good to catch these kids, get them the help they need with their vision. And it's so, so, so important. We thank you so much for being part of us, uh, helping these kids. That was such an important thing in their life. I want to say happy holidays and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to Happy Hanukkah and Kwanzaa, whatever your beliefs. We thank you for being on here with us today, this evening, and we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. John really is doing a wonderful job for us as one of our newest members of our team. And again, he's going to screen over 15,000 students. Another one of our uh, team members in way northeastern Oregon, a member of the Western McEwen Lions, Betty Jane Bugby, uh, is going to screen over 9,000 students this year. So again, your support just has a dramatic impact all across the state. And really, regardless of the quantity of kiddos we screen, every one of your school vision screening staff members around Oregon are having an impact because of the results of those screenings and helping kids. Here's a story that tells that. This little boy, I believe he was a kindergartner, the parents had, or first grader, had no idea he had problems. He was vision screened. Ted was there, Ted Carlin was there working with us. And Ted says he, he, he needs to see an eye doctor. So he came out of the eye doctor's appointment. He looked at the pine trees, and there's lots of pine trees in Bend. He said, Mommy, Mommy, that's what pine needles look like. I can see the pine needle. He couldn't see the pine needles on the trees. Imagine if you're having these kind of problems. If you go all through school, 12 years, not being able to see, not being able to see the board. That boy is now in the sixth grade. I believe he's in the, either in sixth grade or he may be going into middle school now. And he's a star for that school. He, and now that he can see, he's on task, he's, on, he's there and he's, he's learning and, and he's become a star at the school. That's why vision screening is so important. It changes lives, I do believe, in these children. Okay, we're doing some cleaning up of confetti here. There's so much to celebrate with these great stories, with uh, the gifts that are coming in from Denny Tishner, from my buddy Chris Rosalind in Minneapolis. Thank you, Chris. Uh, from our own Matt Phillips, one of our staff members. That's awesome. Carrie White, thank you for your gift. Uh, Noel Bryan, your gift, I think, led to some more confetti that we had to sweep up. So thank you all for keeping those gifts coming in and supporting these great programs. Thank you all so much. Okay, uh, oh, by the way, speaking of Central Oregon, uh, we have our new Ted Carlin Memorial Scramble for Sight Golf Classic. We wanna thank all of you that participated in that last year. And Brad, we wanna invite folks to help us recruit golfers from all over Oregon. It's so much fun. You get to play on your own home course. There's no pressure. You don't have to come all the way to Portland. It's just a great time at the end of summer to help support your Oregon Lions Sight and Hearing Foundation. And again, thank you all for making our first Ted Carlin Scramble for Sight Golf Classic a success. Hey, Brad, what were you doing in 1962? Well, in 1962, I think I was about four years old and my dad had just joined the Beaverton Lions Club. Oh, very nice, very nice. You know, as many of you know, since 1959, Lions Clubs all over the multiple district have been supporting their Oregon Lions Sight and Hearing Foundation. Now, we're going to take a look at one club that has been supporting the foundation through this fundraiser since 1962. 
And this is our annual Christmas tree sale. We start out with about 800 trees. Probably we'll sell out by the week of the 15th, 18th. They go that quick. Uh, the town supports us real well in this operation and, and it's what we do. This is our second day. We will be here till we sell out of trees and we're open from 9 in the morning until 7 at night. Oh, it makes me feel wonderful. I've been doing this since uh, 1962. Uh, I have been on many committees for the foundation. I am a past chairman of the foundation and I still serve on two or three committees after all these years. The foundation in Lyon makes me feel that it's my life. We uh, run this program every year to help support uh, the Oregon Lions Sight and Hearing Foundation. It's such a valuable program for the communities. We get people that come in all the time that talk about when they were a kid they got glasses and how it helped them to see and they come back year after year to buy Chris, uh, Christmas trees from us. Uh, and we like to generate the money to help make some donations into the Sight and Hearing Foundation. All of the net profit goes to our charity and that supports $10,000 a year in scholarships for our high schools, somewhere in the neighborhood of $8,000 this year for glasses and hearing aids and examinations for those in need. It helps the wrestling team, it helps the music department, and then of course we do the uh, eye screening here in McMinnville through the Oregon Lion Sight and Hearing Foundation. This year we screened 1,493 kids with a close to 15% referral rate. Three years ago, the foundation screened 186,000 people in the state of Oregon, and these kind of fundraisers is what supports that. Okay, I wanna wish everybody a very happy holiday. Thank all the people for supporting the foundation and our Lions Club. Uh, we hope that the following years are much better than they have been the last couple. We are so appreciative of the McMinnville Lions and all the Lions Clubs that make our sight and hearing programs uh, possible. In fact, we just received a gift the other day from the Walpart Lions, uh, a $2,500 gift to support our efforts in patient care, surgery, and treatment. And there's no time like the present to start planning for your parade of checks gifts to the Oregon Lions Sight and Hearing Foundation. All you Lions and Lions Clubs out there throughout multiple District 36, this is a great opportunity to start planning on what your gift will be in the coming convention season. Our next tour stop on our trip around Oregon is to the Willamette Valley. Uh, East Albany Lions Club member Robert Springer will screen about 13,000 students this year, and his colleague, Mr. Jerry Shipman, will screen over 14,000. So take a look. The one, one thing I remember, we lived in Salem and we had a snowfall, pretty heavy snowfall, and it got warm and it started to melt and then it froze again very hard. We could walk on top of the snow and never break through it. It was, it was a, a real silver thaw. And that was around Christmas time one year. My name is Jerry Shipman. I am an East Albany Lions Club member. I am a vision screener coordinator for the Mid Valley area, Corvallis, Albany, Springfield, Eugene. I've been doing this for about six, seven years. I love it. And it's been one of the highlights of my life. I will quit doing it when I have to, <laughs> when I can no longer do it. The main reason I do this is because our children are our future, and if we can't get them educated, we're going to be in trouble. And if they cannot see and read properly, they're not going to be able to learn as well. They'll, they will miss things. They won't have the ability to function as we need them to be when we're older and gone. Usually when I leave a school, I, I feel good because I know I've helped these kids, but there will always be one or two that will stick with my mind. They will, they will be with me. Lately, I, I, I enjoy seeing the kids year after year, and the ones we've screened the year before, uh, and they turn them out as a referral. Next year, they're wearing glasses, and they're doing a lot better in school, and that makes me feel good. I want to thank everybody that's been out supporting us and helping us with their, with their vision screening. I've got some great volunteers that have helped out. I want everybody to keep keep doing that and have a have a happy holiday. Enjoy enjoy the season. Some of you know that that the Brad here uh, is a has a CDL license and he can drive a 64 foot truck and tractor. Now this truck right here, Brad, I know you would like to drive because. Oh yeah. Thank you to Carol Sueso. 
the Sutherland Lions, and many of our, our other Lions friends in Southern Oregon, our next wheel spin prize is this cool District E gift card truck that Brad is going to tell us all about. From the Gold Beach Lions, a Visa gift card. From the Sutherland Evening Branch Lions, a Harbor Freight, Dutch Brothers, and Bymart gift card. From the Roseburg Lions Club, Applebee's, Home Depot, Macy's, and Amazon. From the Brookings Harbor Lions Club, a $100 Target gift card. From the Sutherland Noon Lions Club, a Visa gift card. And from the Langlois Lions, a Wild Rivers Wool gift certificate. Thank you, District E Lions. Awesome. This is really great. Plus, they get the truck that goes along with it, yeah, I absolutely. think, right? A great Christmas decoration. Awesome. And again, Carol, you just went above and beyond in putting this together. So thank you for everyone that made this awesome prize available. Let's find out who won it. And the winner of our District E gift truck is Karen Norton. So Karen's a member of the Eugene Downtown Lions. Karen, that's not too long of a drive for, of course, a lot of these gift cards, you don't have to go to Southern Oregon to utilize, right? But uh, yeah, Karen, congratulations. Again, thank you to all of our Southern Oregon Lions friends for making it possible. And uh, where do we go from here, Brad? Um, we have another video to share, a really special one. I know what it is. Okay, so for many, many years, Lions have partnered with the foundation really since 1959 uh, to keep the promise that was made to Helen Keller. And we can do so because of the amazing partnerships that we have. One of the strongest partnerships we have is with Dr. J.P. Lowry, the Pacific University Optometry Program, also a Forest Grove Lion. Dr. Lowry leads our Lions Low Vision Clinic and he travels throughout Oregon to help children with special needs. And recently, we were contacted by a young man in Seattle that wanted to thank us for the amazing impact that Dr. Lowry had on his life many years ago when he was a little boy growing up in Roseburg. Here now is A Light in the Dark. My name is Nathan Lipschutz. I'm 25 from Roseburg, Oregon, and I'm currently working as an aerospace engineer. I design and test systems for space vehicles and weapons systems. I was born with a condition called ocular albinism, which is albinism of the eyes. My best understanding of the condition is that it causes a lack of pigment in the, the retina, um, which manifests as a lack of kind of resolution or uh, acuity for the the person that has it. I have one piece of advice, never give up, always try. No matter how hard this life is, all worth it. Doesn't kind of limits the amount of fidelity that you have in your vision and your ability to make out details. Uh, for me, the particular challenge is making out text on whiteboards or things of that nature. And so it, it can present challenges in the classroom, especially which that's as a young person, that's what you have to do to become successful is get a good education. That challenge is something that has to be dealt with if you wanna be successful. Cause they don't even know you. If anybody talks like <laughs> How's it going, Dr. Lowry? Good to it's see you. <laughs> yeah, it's great to see you. I just want to say thank you for uh, reaching out. That's pretty um, special when a patient who um, I haven't seen for a long, long time, someone who's gone on and done great things. It's just a, a, a wonderful feeling. So thank you. Oh, yeah. I mean, no need to thank me. I'm the one who should be thanking you. You know, you definitely left an impression on me that that lasted. Well, you know, none of what I do would be possible without the Lions. I mean, they're the ones who volunteer and raise all the funds and the foundation runs the program. I'm I just get to be the lucky one on the end uh, stage of that process to be working directly with the uh, students. So, yeah, very, very fortunate. Last time you saw me, I was in a much different situation, so uh, you know, things have changed a lot since then. It's all kind of a blur because, you know, this, I bet I've been dealing with this visual condition 
ocular condition since I was born. It wasn't that I couldn't understand things in the classroom, it was that I couldn't see them all the time. You know, we all have challenges, um, but some of us have different challenges than others. And uh, I happened to be put in a situation when I was kind of at the end of, I guess, yeah, middle school going into high school um, where my parents uh, had some kind of challenges of their own that they were dealing with. And that required me to live on my own uh, starting at about the age of 14. I had to work and, you know, pay bills just like anyone else. Luckily, the, the rent was pretty cheap. So uh, once I found a place, that was the real challenge. Basically, <laughs> I found myself in a situation where neither of my parents <laughs> had a place for me to stay, uh, you know, a, a suitable real place to, to um, live. And so compared to kind of the standards that I'm blessed with now, uh, I, I kind of look at it and I'm like, man, how did I get to where I am from where I was? I was a year ahead in math. So I was like senior year, I was like doing calculus. And I think I had a couple, like two other classes, English and something else. And then I was done for the day at like 11 a.m. And I would just go hit the gym and just do, do whatever. It was like a vacation all year. Then I went to college. At, I went to Oregon State um, University. Uh, where I studied mechanical engineering. And then I ended up minoring in aerospace engineering. So by the end of that, I was pretty sure I really wanted to do aerospace. And I ended up leading a team of seven uh, engineers my senior year for this project called the Aerospace Propulsion Outreach Program. And uh, so that's kind of what got me the job where I was at, because that was a kind of an impressive thing, I guess, for, uh, you know, potential employers. And then since then, it's been like a, a crazy exponential kind of grow, learning opportunity because the company that I'm at is very fast paced, you know, really, really cool technology that we get to work on. You knew exactly what you really needed. You had to advocate for yourself completely. I appreciate it. Also, Dr. Lowry, it's great to see you again. Yeah, it really is. I so appreciate you uh, reaching out and uh, being will willing to tell your story because um, it's, uh, again, it's just a a real uh, pleasure to see that you're doing so well. For me, as a kid, I was in the dark in the classroom. I was in the dark because they, the, there, there wasn't a way for me to see what was going on. And Dr. Lowry literally, and, and the Lions Foundation, shined a light in that room, in the classroom for me by, by providing these tools. Anyone who can contribute to the Lions Foundation, it has the opportunity to be that light in the dark for other people who have similar needs. It just goes without saying that Nate is such an impressive young man, and we're so appreciative of having him as part of our OLSHF family. And for those of you, especially in Southern Oregon, you're gonna see more of Nate, Lions conventions, videos like that. So welcome Nate to, again, the, the, the OLSHA family. Hey, thank you also to Melinda Rhodes for your gift. Mr. Burt Diamond, thank you for being a light in the dark. And Phyllis Carlin, our esteemed board chair, all have recently made gifts. And Brad, they basically are lights in the dark for Oregonians. Absolutely, and you can continue to be that light in the dark by texting KEEP to 71777 or calling 866-409-2258 or clicking that big orange donate button at OLSHF.org. Now, I don't know about you, but one of my favorite Christmas movies is A Christmas Story. And you know, Brad, you're, you're old enough to kind of be from that era of, hey, Ralphie, you're gonna shoot your eye out? Yep, we're kind of contemporary, Doug. Uh, <laughs> But to your point, yes, it's important to keep safety in mind when you're shopping for children's toys today. A pink bunny suit for little Ralphie is great, but let's be careful when it comes time to buy toys for our children, our grandchildren, nieces and nephews. 
two more of our school vision screening staff that are based down in Southern Oregon. Uh, Stephen Brewster in Klamath Falls is projected to screen over 8,000 students this year. And uh, Dr. Steve Tronis will screen over 11,000 in the Roseburg area. Since it's December and it's Safe Toys Month and keeping Ralphie in mind, please enjoy our Safe Toys PSA, followed by Dr. Steve Tronis. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. <laughs> the Christmas story is a is really my story. I was pretty much like Ralphie as far as the way he looks with his thick glasses and and um, dorky demeanor. And I uh, remember when I had a BB gun and I was shooting flies and I shot a fly and the BB ricocheted off of the tin can back and hit me. So I <laughs> am quite familiar with Ralphie. I'm a retired doctor of optometry and I've worked with students for 40 years and have seen the importance of vision in education and how their school tra trajectory and trajectory in life is improved when they can see and perform well. I work in the Douglas County area and can expand north and south and east and west of that. The students that we see uh, are amazed when, they're, when they hear they have a vision problem and they say, oh, that's why I can't read. Or the teacher will say, I knew there was a problem because teachers can usually identify that there's a problem they're not always able to tell what the problem is. We would like to promote the vision screening portion of this as a means of detecting many problems, not just nearsightedness or farsightedness. One of the most fun things that we did in this little community was a town of about 100 people, and it was, not only was it small, it was quite remote. We would all get a Christmas sock full of oranges and candy and things like that and that was a real family community oriented activity that I remember we did every year and we had lefsa and krumkaka and kumla and all kinds of Norwegian and Swedish dishes. I'd really like to thank everybody for their support not only for their local Lions clubs but for the foundation. We're able to multiply dollars when you help support the foundation and hope everybody enjoys whatever holiday they celebrate this time of year. So we hope you've enjoyed this little virtual tour around Oregon visiting our school vision screening staff and all together, cumulatively, we again project we'll screen somewhere between 150,000 conservatively, but maybe as many as 200,000 students around Oregon, thanks to uh, you and your support. We're just so thrilled with that. So uh, we mentioned the Black Butte trip. In terms of bids, we do have a $250 minimum bid in, and we think there might be another bid out there. So you have a couple of minutes to still text us, chat box, let us know if you want that Black Butte golf trip and flight, thanks to Jim Aurelioso, but the bid's now at $250, so you have to go above that. Okay, Brad, we've got a wheel spin coming up. A great wheel spin, one of our finest gifts tonight from our friends at Columbia Bank, a $500 gift card to spend any way you want. What a perfect thing to get in your pocket for this Christmas season. And we're very grateful again to our friends at Columbia Bank for making this donation. So that being said, let's find out who the lucky winner of the $500 Visa gift card is. And the winner is Pamela Cameron. Cameron. I think Pamela Cameron won something once before. I think from so us, too. I, mean, I think yeah. Pam Cameron is very lucky when she comes to our specials. I think so. Congratulations, Congratulations to Pamela. Pam. Again, the lucky winner of a $500 gift card courtesy of Columbia Bank.
Awesome. Okay, we have another exciting prize to give away, but this is kind of like the big enchilada, this is, right? This is big. This has been big for several months. This was a lot. Yeah, and before we draw the lucky winner's name, we do want to one more time thank Terry and Lulu Bowman for their gener generosity of donating uh, their timeshare. And they've done this like six, seven years in a row. For and years on end, thank you so much, Terry and Lulu. Absolutely. And I, can, I can guarantee you that whoever wins this prize is going to have a great time. So just to set the stage here, for those of you unaware, uh, we began selling raffle tickets about six weeks or so ago, and we sold out all 500 tickets. Um, as a nonprofit doing a, a raffle that has a certain value, we registered with the State of Oregon's Department of Justice Charitable Gaming Association, and this is all... Well, all of these prizes have been legitimate, but this one's really drawn under the auspices of the state of Oregon. So we are right on time when we told them that we were gonna do the drawing. Perfect. So should we go ahead and bring the raffle box out? You might recognize this raffle box. Yes, Brad, what kind of a box is that? That is an eyeglass donation box, and if you need one of those, get a hold of us, and we will get one to you or more. And since we're feeling extra special generous, whoever wins the trip to paradise and to airline tickets thanks to alaska airlines we're going to let you have the box too right okay so i'm going to draw the name i'm going to check the name and then i'm going to give it to santa are we ready sure congratulations christy peterson with you a k Christy with a K, <laughs> Peter's son with an O. Congratulations. You've won a 10-day vacation in a great resort, virtually anywhere of you choosing, plus two round-trip tickets from our friends at Alaska Airlines. Congratulations, Christy Peterson. Oh, there's the confetti. <laughs> Yay! Time to sweep. <laughs> awesome. Christy Peterson. Congratulations. Wow, what a great trip. And again, thank you, Terry and Lulu Bowman. Cool. Okay. Um, our next item I think that we're going to do is just a quick little announcement here. So some of you might recall last year, near the end of the holiday special, we went a little, okay, I went a little over the top celebrating the fact that your Oregon Lion Sight and Hearing Foundation was named the number one best nonprofit to work for in Oregon. And Brad, guess what? We're number one again. We are. So <laughs> we're here to just announce to you, in fact, if you can yeah, we're here to announce to you that your Oregon Lion Sight and Hearing Foundation is the number one best nonprofit to work for in Oregon because of your support and because of our amazing staff team. So congratulations to us. Cool. Okay. So, our show is almost over, but all through the weekend, you can still text KEEP to 71777 to donate to your Oregon Lions Sight and Hearing Foundation. Call 866-409-2258 all the way through tomorrow evening, and any time, go to www.olshf.org and click on that big orange donate button. So, before we say goodbye, uh, we want to thank you all for attending our event today. Uh, of course, thank you for everyone uh, that sponsored and made the prizes possible. And thank you all for being a light in the dark. And the names are rolling across the screen right now that have supported us during our year-end holiday campaign. Thank you all for partnering with us throughout the entire calendar year. Because with your help, we're able to keep that promise that was made to Helen Keller so many years ago. As we say goodbye, we're going to leave you with a parting gift. Uh, once known as the youngest performer ever to play Carnegie Hall when he was seven years old, Portland's Aaron Meyer is now a renowned rock violinist. So please enjoy Aaron Meyer and the Brown Sisters with a Christmas medley that I'm sure you're going to enjoy. Thanks, everybody, and happy holidays. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Eight years after we started the Aaron Meyer Holiday Concerts, my dear friend Tim Ellis recommended we add a vocal group to the show. The Brown sisters, Leah, Dorcas, and Rachel, joined the Holiday family in 2008. We can't imagine Christmas without them. We hope you'll enjoy this medley of Angels We Have Heard on High featuring the stunning harmonies of the Brown sisters. 
We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year.